How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from Marcy Insight here, and today I am going over the LEGO Super Mario 2021 Summer set list. Uh, this one is one of the ones that we have some of the least information for so far. We have no set names, just uh, piece counts and prices. Uh, so this uh, I'm very intrigued in. It's going to be mostly entirely guessing on my behalf as to what we're getting. Uh, but I'm just going to go through each one of them and kind of give you my thoughts and speculations. Uh, first thing here, uh, 280 pieces, $60 US for 71387. That seems overpriced to me. Just Too Good was speculating that we might be getting a Luigi starter pack set since it's exactly a year after we got the, the Mario starter pack. And I think he was suggesting that it was this this uh, seventy dollar set here. If we were to get a Luigi starter set, I think it would be this one. I think it would be smaller than the Mario one because we have a bunch of expansion packs, and the primary feature would be Luigi, which is what puts this at the sixty dollar price. I think that's the most likely for this one. We'll see. That could be totally off base, but I don't know what else would be two hundred eighty pieces and sixty dollars. Uh, you can see that because the next one is $231 and uh, $30, which is a much more reasonable price range. And this is probably another small themed expansion pack. Uh, maybe like a, a bomb bomb, like we did Piranha Plants. Uh, we have had like Goomba related. So I'd like to see like maybe like a bomb factory set or something like that. Uh, that's pretty small that I think you could do pretty easily. We had Wriggler. Uh, the other option is this could be like a sand. I, this could also be a sand desert theme set. I think that would fit as well uh, with the uh, the spikes or whatever they're called. Uh, I, that's probably... Actually, the spike one seems more realistic to me as I'm saying it out loud. So that is my guess as to what this is. Uh, but it will definitely be one of those smaller expansion packs like the Piranha Plant, like Wriggler Swamp, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, then we have a $40 set that's 484 pieces. Uh, this is a good price point. This is probably another expansion set, but in a larger scale. Uh, so thinking about what they could do with that size range, um, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe maybe it could be like uh, Bowser Jr.'s mini castle. Um, 500 pieces might not be quite enough for that. That could also be what this is this set down here is uh this you know this one is probably just a more reasonably sized expansion set meanwhile this uh 70 862 piece set is could maybe be like the bowser mini castle then uh which would still be an expansion but more uh building oriented uh so i i think i think i would like to see a bowser mini castle given we saw bowser's castle last year so i'm gonna put that out there and, and this one probably isn't that. This may just be another uh, another regular set. I'd be curious to know. I'm not exactly sure what this might be. The world of Mario is so vast that I don't want to speculate too much on that. Uh, and then lastly here, we have this 1,152 piece set for $100. This one intrigues me. Uh, there's a couple options here. I believe there is a direct-to-consumer set that is not listed here, that is going to be more pieces in line with the console that we got last year. Uh, I don't know exactly what to think or expect from that. I think there's two options. Uh, I think the D2C, I, I don't think it's going to be another console build. Uh, I think it could be like a UCS uh, Star Wars build. I just don't, I don't think it's this set. Um, but, but I'm hedging my bets on a UCS style build, whether that's like a full scale, uh, Mario figure, or Luigi figure, or some other full scale character or a proper castle build or something like that. Um, but what I'm really hoping to see and what I hope this might be, or what I hope the, the DTC set might be, if it's something different is I would like to get, a, an airship on here, um, I think an airship would be a fantastic build and expansion set that you could do in about probably like I'd like to see a 3000 piece airship. I think that would be awesome. Uh, but I am hoping for an airship this summer. I don't think that at 1100 pieces that is it, but it could be. 
I do not think this is Peach's Castle, as Just Too Good speculated, uh, but we will see. So that's kind of just my speculation on the sets that we have coming. Uh, and then we also have two more power packs and a character pack series three. I'm not going to speculate on what all these characters could be. There's some obvious ones that they have yet to cover. Uh, and as for the the power packs, uh, I'm wondering if maybe a green mushroom. I don't think we've we've got one of those yet, but I could be totally mistaken. Uh, and maybe a star. Again, I don't know if we've we've gotten a star, but uh, I don't know that that would really work. Anyway, uh, power packs as well. So uh, we'll see about this. Um, but I don't really want to speculate too much on those. They're, they're going to be what they are. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the upcoming uh, Super Mario wave. Uh, I'm optimistic that this could be really good. Uh, I really want to see an airship set. If they come out with an airship set, I will buy it in a heartbeat. Uh, but other than that, we'll uh, wait for some set images and uh, I'll tell you more about what I think then. If you guys found this video useful, uh, click the like button down below just to show your support. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, we can be expecting from this summer Super Mario wave. Subscribe to be notified as soon as more information on these sets comes out, as well as more LEGO reviews, content, speed builds, all that. That will be coming throughout the next several months. So subscribe if you're interested in any of that. And uh, with all that said, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.